This video is designed as a tool to help show teachers how to set up and carry out the five demonstrations which make up the Spacecraft Materials Kit for primary schools. These demonstrations are based on a challenge surrounding the Orion spacecraft, which will be used to carry humans into space in the near future. Let's take a look at each of the demonstrations one by one. For Activity 1, we'll be looking at electrical conductivity, and you're going to need the following materials. Crocodile clips, the 1.5 volt battery, a small light bulb, and your test cubes. Start by connecting the wires to your 1.5 volt battery and attach it to the light bulb. By seeing the light bulb light up, we know that we have a complete circuit. Next, line up your test cubes and simply take another wire, attach it to the light bulb, and take these two ends of the wire, gently tapping them to each of the materials, looking to see which one is an insulator and which one is a conductor. You'll notice that those that are an insulating material will not light the light bulb up, but those which are a conductive material do light the light bulb up. For this second activity, we'll be testing thermal conductivity. The challenge in this activity is to see which of the materials heat up and cool down quickly. For the activity, pupils will be using thermochromic paper, which responds rapidly to heat changes. The rest of the materials that you're going to need for this activity are some hot water, the two petri dishes, your eight test cubes, and eight pieces of thermochromic paper. Begin by placing the thermochromic paper on top of each of the cubes. Next, very carefully pour some hot water into each of the two petri dishes. And cover both with the lids. Now, take each of the cubes and place them on top of the petri dishes. You will notice the color changes from black when the paper is cold, and as the cube begins to warm up, the paper changes color to green. Pupils make note of which materials seem to conduct heat quickly. By leaving the paper longer, they can also see which paper then begins to lose the heat as it changes back to blue and finally to black. For this activity, we're going to be measuring the mass of each of the cubes. To begin, you're going to need the following materials, the eight test cubes, and a digital scale. Pupils can begin by trying to estimate the mass to the nearest gram of each of the cubes, simply by feeling their weight in their hands. They can note down what they think is the heaviest and what they think is the lightest cube in their worksheet. Now that the pupils have noted down their estimates of each of the masses, they can take an accurate measurement using the digital scale. This measurement can be to the nearest decimal place. In this activity, we're going to be testing which of the cubes are magnetic. You're going to need the eight test cubes and a magnet. Simply hold each of the cubes over the magnet to see if it's attracted. Pupils can write down if the test cube is magnetic or not. In this activity, we're going to be demonstrating the impact test. In order to do this activity, you'll need the following. The pieces for the ramp, the test cubes, and a marble. First, we need to start by assembling the ramp. Take the large rocket-shaped piece and slot it in to the top of the two ramp pieces. Next, take one of the E-shaped pieces and place that in the midpoint. Take the second E-shaped piece and place that in at the first slot on the end. Take the double E-sided piece and place that in at the very end. Finally, slot in the two fin pieces on top. And now we're ready to go. Start by taking one of your test cubes, placing it in the special slot, take your marble, place this at the top of the ramp. Gently tap the marble 
and pupils will measure the rebound after it impacts the material. The more the rebound, the less damage to the material. Repeat the exercise three times to get an average and repeat the full exercise with each cube. These were the five demonstrations for the Spacecraft Materials Kit for primary schools. Good luck with the challenge and have fun!